everybody. Today we are going to be talking about my favorite color, which is the color green. <laughs> um, my kitchen's painted green. I didn't paint it that. It was that color when I moved in, but it fits with today's lesson or blogging video, so I figured I would do it for my kitchen. So, um, one way to really alkalize your body, um, which is the post that I was talking about yesterday, is by drinking green juice. Um, when I say that to people, sometimes I think that sounds gross, um, but I promise you it's not. It's actually one of the best things that you can do for your body. Um, so one thing that I do every morning is juice, and I have this handy dandy juicer. We're just going to turn you on this one a little bit. There it is, beside my KitchenAid. And I juice all sorts of things, but my favorite combo is cucumber, um, a big cucumber. <laughs> oh, that's like the main base of it. And then I also do um, kale stems or broccoli stumps. You know, sometimes you're like, what do I do with these? You cut them off and you can juice those. Um, I also do uh, celery in this and either a pear or like half an apple just to give it a little sweetness. But the rule of juicing is it should be three vegetables to every one fruit. So, um, because you don't want to rise your blood sugar levels too high and cause insulin spiking and all that stuff. So um, the more green, the better. You definitely don't want it to be fruit juice. And I like to drink mine in a wine glass because it makes me feel special. <laughs> Especially if you're not drinking alcohol, um, which I don't really. Um, it, it's just nicer <laughs> wine glass so I do this and I have this every morning and it's really important to drink like right away because um, it starts to oxidize and all the nutrients can be lost if it sits out too long so there's all sorts of types of juicers um, you can find them online I got this one well it was a birthday present actually <laughs> but um, I think they got it on eBay or somewhere like that um, so juicing is really fun, and um, another thing you can do is wheatgrass shots. Woo! Um, I don't have a wheatgrass shot er at the moment. Um, I'd like to get one. They have hand cranked ones, and they look pretty awesome. Um, but sometimes I go to my local health food store, and they have a wheatgrass shotter there, and I'll get a shot. Um, but I also found these, which I was so excited about. They're frozen wheatgrass shots. Sorry. Um, and I keep them in my freezer, obviously. And they come in like these little packets, like honey packets of green goodness. And you just have to put them in a warm glass of water and let them get unfrozen. And then you can put them in a shot glass and tilt her back. Um, so, yes, green is good. This is another example of green goodness. This is kale. Um, kale is one of the best things you can eat. Um, I put this stuff on everything. I put it in smoothies. I put it in my vegetable soups. I put it in everything. I just cook with it. I put it in eggs. I, I eat it raw. I eat it in a salad. Um, so kale is a great thing to add into your diet if you don't have it already in there. So um, this is just a lesson to teach you that green is good. My shirt says the fruit future is green. It's that little jolly green giant guy. His little friend, I don't know what his name is. <laughs> but um, yes, this is just an encouragement to you to think about eating more green things and remembering that green is good and it really brings oxygen and life to the body and enzymes and all the things that we need to function in good health and starts to reverse that acidity. So if you want to start slow, you can think by adding a green juice in the morning instead of your coffee a couple days a week. Um, I know that's hard. If you want to drink it in a coffee mug instead, it might make you feel like you're having coffee. Um, so you can do that. And another option is like once a week to do uh, a cleanse, like basically for a day. So I'll pick a day where I'm not working out because I don't really think it's a good idea to juice fast when you're doing CrossFit intense workouts because um, you could pass out. But 
if you're just doing on a day where you're lazing about the house, doing laundry, etc., it's not um, a bad idea. So basically what that looks like is, you know, you wake up, you have your green juice, um, a couple hours later, you have some more, and a couple hours later, you have some more. <laughs> and you could add some wheatgrass shots in there as well. It basically gives, I think I say basically a lot. I'm realizing that as I'm talking because I think I'm nervous. It gives your body the chance to um, clean out your digestive tract and give it a break for a day and it will actually just you know put more oxygen and enzymes in your body and give it the chance to um, just reset itself and it will dot, dump a lot of toxins into your liver um, when you're doing it so you have to make sure that you're drinking a lot of water because you want to flush all that out and you can end the night if you want with some steamed vegetables or a salad just to kind of give your body a break from the fast but I encourage you to try it at least once a week just to cleanse out your system so this is me signing off I'm going to enjoy my delicious green juice in my green kitchen <laughs> have a great day thanks for watching bye